Go ready? Go ahead and just run me through what you're gonna do. Pulse is weak in 30 at about 50. Suction for 10 seconds and it's clear. This patient is super sick and I'm gonna die in the next 10 minutes if I don't get him to the hospital. Here at Cane Bay, we have EMS 1 and 2 that actually introduce uh, pre-hospital health care to the students. My level 3 course is the actual certification. When we pass this course, we're qualified to take our NREMT, which we actually take at the end of this. They pay for it. It's completely free. Anything you do, whether you want to be a nurse, go to college, whatever, if you get this card from this class, it's a big deal. We can go apply it for jobs because then we'll be nationally certified EMTs. Who would have thought that an 18-year-old coming out of high school with the certification we give would be making, you know, 46000 a year. This is the ambulance simulator we just got. It helps us better prepare for what it's actually going to be like on the ambulance. That is the coolest thing. It's got all the realistic switches, the lights. Mounts for the stretchers, your bench seats, and we try to set it up just like they do in the ambulance that they're going to ride on. We do ride-alongs with real EMS. I've done one, a few others have done some. And we try to put all the supplies in the exact same spot. It's exactly the same. Like I got into the real ambulance, I was like, oh yeah, this, this is in my classroom the comfort level actually rises, so they perform better. Being in that kind of claustrophobic environment, it's no different. Berkeley County Sheriff's Office sets the stage for a gunshot. Every Friday, we have actual EMS responders come in. Today, we had two of them. It's a very big privilege to be able to serve the citizens of Berkeley County. Being able to like, work with somebody who's done it, they tell us their experiences, what we can expect. Scenarios we do are actually based off of real scenarios that we've had, actual calls. So when they're in the back of here, I mean, it, it becomes real. She's forcing that air down, okay? Garrett was my graduate from last year. Sitting up front, I was like, that desk right over there. He actually took the class, graduated top of his class, and now he is with Berkeley County. I wouldn't even have the outlook on life that I have if I went for this class. And he is now coming back here to help me teach the new students. It's definitely something to look up to. So he's doing great actually working, and a little bit less than a year ago, he was right here. It kind of like gives us faith in the program, like, oh yeah, he actually did this. I credit this class, I credit Mr. Lucero for pretty much everything I'm doing now. Good job, guys. So he actually was a paramedic, which is the highest of the EMS branch. He's real with us. He tells us when we make a mistake, but he also tells us when we do something amazing. How hard he works, how much passion he has for his job. Not only as a paramedic, but also for simply just teaching. You do the best you can and you put in all the effort and the time into them. And I tell them from day one, once you do this, we, we are family. I know he was always gonna be there for me, for my family even. I mean, there's no one else I'd rather have been taught by. I'm proud of every single one. Proud is just not even the word. It, go, it exceeds that. He's teaching us real life skills that we will be able to use. I wanna be an EMT, I wanna come back to the high school, I love it. I would love to be able to say that I, I saved somebody's life.